A Sri Narayani Foundation, in fact, a lovely, lovely deed there. Uh, giving back to society, giving back to charity, giving back to the underprivileged. You know what, uh, before I tell you more about this little figurine I'm yes. holding on, <laughs> there was this article I read in the internet mm -hmm. recently about mm -hmm. this young girl mm -hmm. who at 11 literally fed the homeless near okay. her village uh, with just one huge cabbage that she had grown in her garden. A very interesting story indeed. If you want to know more about it, go read up on this 11-year-old girl who had a cabbage. Uh, she that local she grew. or she, is no? It, well, it, 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 it's overseas. Okay. But the cabbage were like that big. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's like this Jack and the Beanstalk kind of story. So she went and got a little seedling from a mom, and she, she, you know, she went and put it into the garden, uh, watered it daily, talked to it, and next thing you know, it just grew that huge, that big, and she didn't know what to do with it. And she fed the homeless. She decided, you know what? I want to give it to the homeless. I want to feed the homeless, mm -hmm. and that was beautiful. She's since then started uh, Kelly's Crops. If you want to look at it, Kelly's Crops, K E L L Y K R O P S dot com. Have a look and you, you'd know what I mean. Meanwhile, talking about this little figurine here, I'm not playing with cartoon figures, but yes. this is a cartoon figure and it's absolutely beautiful. Okay. Um, let's, 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 let's talk check, about let's this. Let's check up on our history. <laughs> remember, please do guys remember your history <laughs> lessons. Um, the travels are of Ibn Battuta. We're talking about Ibn Battuta. He is equivalent of Marco Polo. Now, mm -hmm. it's very interesting because he travelled for 29 years. Yep. He travelled the world for 29 years. Let's introduce our guest for today. Yes, let's welcome our guest who's going to tell us more about this. Dr. Mohammed Salmi, Mohammed Sohod, Managing Director, Infusion Solutions, Sindriam Barhad. Good morning, Doctor. Morning, ladies. Yes. Ah, how are you doing this morning? Very good. Can I take this back home with me? <laughs> well, when we launch the series, we'll have oh, okay. some of that uh, merchandise ready. Um, oh. Let's uh, remember back our history lessons. Tell us more about Ibn Battuta. Ibn Battuta is a traveller who travel. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the 14th centuries, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A, a good comparison is to compare him with Marco Polo. Mm -hmm. ah. He traveled three times more distance than Marco Polo, mm -hmm. uh, covering 44 countries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the difference is he traveled for wisdom and knowledge. Mm -hmm. Versus some people say Marco mm -hmm. Polo traveled for fame Riches and richness. And, mm. Mm. Like for on this book, it says that um, he was he is on a pilgrimage to yes. Mecca, yeah. and that was where the the journey started. In fact, he went to Mecca five times mm -hmm. uh, within 20, 29 years. Every time he decided to you know uh, to travel, he would go to Mecca first and then start going to other places. In fact, he have covered North Europe, uh, part of Europe, uh, North America, uh, North Africa. Asia, China, India, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that that to me is is a travel log of a person that we should put it into An something. Uh, yeah, and by putting it into into animation, I'm just Bringing trying the to, knowledge to yeah the masses. to the masses to the young one who's mm -hmm. so familiar with mm -hmm. the animation technology yeah. and digital technology. Mm -hmm. So that's the intention. It's very interesting. He's again thinking out of the box. You're getting something that's history bringing into the children's minds, yeah. but in, in what they, in the version they yeah. like. Yeah. Uh, now, what started you with Ibn Battuta? Why Ibn Battuta? I mean, I mean I'm sure there Why would have been a well, lot well, of other I, I guess if you were to read this book, mm -hmm. it would take you ages. Right. Trying to read to your uh, you to know, little, little sisters yeah. or mm -hmm. uh, children would take ages too. So I, I saw this book and I, I I met even the author of Professor Ross Dunn, he's mm -hmm. an emeritus professor in UCLA. Mm -hmm. And by putting it into something that is digital, it mm -hmm. lasts longer, mm -hmm. it reaches more audience. Mm -hmm. You can put it on the internet, you can put it on TV and uh, you'll, you'll be seen everywhere. Right. But the intention is to make history easy. Mm -hmm. And come to life, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and animated making series. it more interesting. Tell us when this is going to go on air for the uh, benefit of the little ones out there. Yes. Since uh, school holidays after exams is coming up really soon next month, maybe you let us know when it's starting off. Yeah, taking advantage of Ramadan, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be appearing on TV2 mm -hmm. uh, beginning August the 8th, Sunday, okay. 9.30. Mm -hmm. So you see us for the next 13 weeks, uh, for 13 Sunday. Episodes. Yeah. Fantastic. 13 episodes, 22 minutes. So it's going to be... A full family entertainment, is, I should is say. Is this in uh, English animated? Uh, we have translated Bahasa. it to Bahasa. Okay. It's originally in English. Okay. We're working on the next uh, phase of translation into Arabic and other languages. Fantastic. And hopefully we'll reach the uh, global audience very soon. I see. Yeah. Okay. So tell us, what is the most interesting scenes that you would like to promote during the... In the what's the climax in the, the whole 13 series? What, what can we look forward to? Well, every series has its own unique mm -hmm. feature. Mm -hmm. Basically, we move from one country to another. Mm -hmm. 
For example, a series that takes him to uh, Cappadocia. Mm -hmm. You know, Cappadocia, a very interesting place, a heritage in Turkey. Mm -hmm. So we drew again Cappadocia mm -hmm. and we, we add some fantasy. He met a lady called oh. Selena, mm -hmm. who is an adventurer, a warrior. Uh, you know, trying to show that, you know, he's part of the society when right. he enter a country. He tried to be part of the, the people, the folks, at the same time, discover some wisdom. So at the end of the series, mm -hmm. you will, feel, you will f uh, see the old Batuta mm -hmm. writing mm -hmm. and a simple message that will conclude, you know, the wisdom of I the day, see, I should right, say. So, right. so the intention was to, to make that a reflection during the young days and the older and the old days. Is there a moral behind each uh, each series? Oh, like definitely, the the there's series, a, there's a there moral. There will be a moral for yeah. the child, children. You just spoke about the, the kids who serve, uh, you know, the folks. Yeah. Uh, there was an episode about, uh, you know, the Sultan who uh, we call it the simpleton. Uh -huh. They look the same like the people, and right. they, uh, Batuta went for a, a feast invited by Sultan, not knowing the Sultan, oh, only okay. to find out that he's. Um, you know, the same, just equal the among the rest. Just a simple so, person. A simple person. Mm -hmm. So that, that shows that he learns a lot along the way. Mm. So images that we have turned it into, uh, into 3D are mm -hmm. uh, based on real facts. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the historical part, the, the palaces. Uh, but the, the story has got some uh, fantasy mm -hmm. to bring about excitement. Mm -hmm. right. Is there any plans of making this into a film? You actually are spot on there. We, uh, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, visiting we had, we had, 44 had... countries. I had a chance to do, a, you know, a three season, you know, at least 39 more countries. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, if we have a co-producer, uh -huh. we're talking to the government, we would definitely make it a full uh, 3D movie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it would be right. very interesting to see how we create all these features. So and we, we have these, local... What we, what we see on the screen, Doctor, is how you literally create the Yeah, characters. from the drawing board yeah. to a character and mm -hmm. animate it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. And, now, and for the first time... Go on, sorry. Yeah, for the first time, I, I felt very good and confident that we have the local who can do it. Of course. Now, that's yeah. exactly where I'm coming to. Yeah. Uh, when we talk about animation, uh, Malaysia is just, you know, we, we, we're taking baby steps into yeah, animation. Right, I mean, we've got right. Upin and Ipin yes, and yes. a whole lot of other things that are literally yes, happening yes. now. And I think mm -hmm. Upin and Ipin, a lot of people have following in there. In fact, I love them too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so when we talk about animation in, in our country, as we, as I said, baby steps along the way, yeah. how do you think uh, the companies are doing in us in our standards compared to, let's say, the ones not not around the globe, but maybe yeah. in the Asian region, how, how are we in well, comparison? We've been, we've been a player behind the scene for a lot of international companies. We've mm. been doing what we call the sweatshop work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, not getting credits for it. So yeah. we, we took a different approach. You say we should own intellectual property. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the reason why. So we have been able to we've been able to do work for others. Mm -hmm. We should be able to do for us. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure we are still at that so-called nascent stage. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to grow our expertise in certain sure. areas. For yeah. example, from the storytelling, mm -hmm. we're not really that good in storytelling. Mm -hmm. So we have to find partners or learn a lot from Hollywood or from, yeah. from places, mm -hmm. even India. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we are good at you know the technology is not it's, so much of a problem. Yeah. Is the storyline taking mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. and the next challenge is always marketing. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's something that after embarking on all this for the last three years, we found yeah. that there's a lot more to learn. Mm -hmm. So we will not stop. Mm -hmm. uh, but we definitely need help. We definitely need support from mm -hmm. government and mm -hmm. and what RTM does, basically give us opportunity to to appear. Sure. Okay. And I'm sure through RTM network they could you know link us to another mm -hmm. national TV mm -hmm. station of other mm -hmm. countries, mm -hmm. and that would take us far. Okay, so what's your future plan? Is there any other icon figure that you will be seeing in animation By infusion, soon? infusion, that's right. Yeah, yeah, there, there are a few icon figures that we're talking about, but mm -hmm. we'll soon release a short series on, on Asian legends. Mm -hmm. Asian legends. Uh, this is again, people, kids and you will find difficulties on trying to read books. Right. Because they are new, the kids are all uh, very, very active right. and mm -hmm. they like to mm -hmm. see things moving. Mm -hmm. So we have a 2D that. We are coming about with a, another series of 2D on Borneo. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing some presentation to the government to get some support. But mm -hmm. Borneo is, you know, the, all the endangered species, flora yeah. and fauna. That's right. Okay. Uh, okay. That will be featured. Uh, but obviously, we have more in store that uh, we'll, we'll, we'll announce it when. You know, okay, but right I, it was also interesting about the Asian legends. It's true yeah. that I, I don't think our young children had knows more on no. Asian legends than yeah, Cinderella yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and Snow well, White. It's more, and yeah, it's more than <laughs> when, when I was embarking on this project, you know, literally, I went to uh, 
Connie Kinoya and, and trying to buy books. Yeah. And I was picking up books, and the kids was, you know, looking at me. What are you doing? I say, <laughs> I told books. the mother, I'm going to make it into cartoons. Yeah. And true enough, we we did it in the last two and a half, one and a half years. Fantastic. And Fantastic. all the stories about Asia now almost the same. A lot to be learned, mm -hmm. and animation does a lot to mm. to bring about. Very very little that we can, very little that has been put forward because it's an Asian legend mm -hmm. and yeah. because it's Asian stories. Yeah. Uh, because I think we're very used to seeing a lot of this, uh, you know. Uh, Western stories, for instance, yeah. yeah, Western Western cartoons and everything, and a lot of our children are being uh, literally uh, fed how do you with say? Fed all with this. It. Yeah, yes, yeah. exactly. We should provide alternative. There's a lot a, a lot of stories to be of course, told. Of course. I mean, being Malaysia, one Malaysia tells about so many cultures. Yeah. Yes. Malay with Indonesia. That's right. Uh, Chinese with China. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Indians with India yep. and and the you know the folks in Sabah and Sarawak. That's right. So we have got Borneo for that. That's mm -hmm. right. Of course. Uh, there's a lot more to. And they themselves have a lot of shared. legend themselves, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Borneo itself. What we need is a bit more fun and uh, real fun mm -hmm. with money. <laughs> uh, That's true. To, to produce Very quickly, it. Doctor, how has the response been thus far for this particular project? We we took this to international you know expo to mm -hmm. to Cannes in mm -hmm. France and also to Kids Screen in New York. Mm -hmm. We have got interests coming from Europe, coming from America, and coming from uh, also this part of Asia. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, in, in the US, they have featured Batuta in the history book of American kids. Mm -hmm. I literally saw the book. Mm -hmm. The previous book was only a few lines, and then almost half of a chapter about this guy mm -hmm. because he traveled and I, I guess the intention is to, to tell the American kids that you know this guy embraces so many different diversity of culture, That's religion. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. And probably that is also our intention mm. that if we can bring about an interest to you know to to appreciate others, mm -hmm. appreciate cultures, appreciate right. different appreciate diversity. Appreciate moral values indeed. Then you probably become a global person yeah. and that's what he ha he became, yeah. you know, 700 years ago. That's true. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now, once again, to the benefit of the viewers, yes. uh, it's starting on August 8th. Uh, on TV2, yeah. 9.30 every Sunday. 9.30 every Sunday. There you go. So don't forget to watch Ibnu Batuta, the animated series. You will definitely be uh, quite uh, thrilled in terms of uh, learning the legend itself. And of course, our children, for instance, mm -hmm. they get to learn. It doesn't matter whether you're of any race or any religion. Because eh? sure. there's always something to learn. Yes, yeah. it's all about uh, the, the wisdom in traveling. Picking up the wisdom from Picking every the wisdom, that's episode right. would be good for the parents also. Yes, definitely. We've been losing it all, okay. all this way. Oh, yes. <laughs> so we are very much looking forward to your future future projects. Very much looking forward. Hope to see you again in this set to promote your future projects. Inshallah, we'll, we'll work hard <laughs> to get when you, there. When you get a movie, don't forget to give us the tickets as yes. well. <laughs> sure. That's for everybody. <laughs> All right. Well, Doctor, thank you so much Thanks for so joining much. us this morning and again. your time. It's thank been you. really lovely. Uh, for you out there, once again, August 8th, 9.30, uh, you will watch the beginning of Ibn Battuta, the animated yes, series. Yes, family entertainment show. Our very own local production. Yes. We should be very proud of this, really. Okay. Um, for you, I'm going to leave this here. I'm very <laughs> tempted to take it back home. I shall leave it there and give it back to the good doctor. <laughs> right. From uh, Yasmin and Annie, we would like to say thank you so much for all your calls and uh, staying with us for this one hour. Yes, happy fasting next week. That's happy right. Happy fasting. Selamat berpuasa, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> and uh, adios from all of us, the cast and crew all here. Bye-bye, Malaysia. We'll see you again next week. Okay, bye.